Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to Top 10 Tips for Noobs or New Players on Apocalypse Rising. Keep in mind these are in no particular order. Before we get on to the video, I just want to apologize in advance for any background noise you might hear because my computer's kind of loud and my mic's not the best, so I hope it doesn't bother any of you guys out there. And if it does, I'm sorry. I really can't do anything about it. Another thing, keep in mind some of this is based on personal opinion, but for the most part, I just tried to come up with the best tips that I think a lot of noobs or new players should really hear. And tips that I hope will set some of you on your way to become a successful member of the APOC community. Oh guys, I almost forgot. I also have examples of the tips that go over in the background. Just so you guys have a little bit more of an idea of what I'm trying to say and get over in the video. I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, enjoy the video. Number one, never trust somebody you don't know. I see a lot of people in chat always saying like, does somebody want a team and stuff like that through strangers over the internet? And that really isn't a good idea, especially for somebody new, because there are a lot of people who just backstab you in a split seconds for whatever supplies you may have, even if you're really new. There are a lot of bad people out there, so I don't know, I just try to be smart about it. Number two, never give out your location or supplies in chat. This one in itself is pretty important. Let's say you decide to team with a friend and he asks for what supplies you got or where you're at. A lot of people won't think to create a group and stay in group chat. A lot of people might just say global. So I would just try to be careful about giving out information like that. There are people out there who are easily just try to take it away from you in an instant. Number three, stay away from other players. This kind of ties in with number one, but this one is really important in itself. Anyway, I hate to say this, but people are the real threat. Like they said in The Walking Dead, unless you're teaming with somebody you can trust, you really have to stay away from people. Because then again, they are strangers over the internet, no matter how nice they may seem. Number four, avoid kin. Now there's just a lot of people who are going to disagree with me on this, and I get it. You know, a lot of people think they can, it's a good idea just to go to Ken to hopefully just find some supplies and, you know, if I'm a first spawn, it's no big deal if I die anyway. Well, would you rather go to a town like Ken that's easy to get to to hopefully to find supplies? Or would you rather take your a little bit more time to go to a small town near you or something like that that would that has a military tent or something like that, which you're more likely really to find. Basically, if you go to Ken, you're risking your life to try to get supplies, when really, if you just go to a small town and not as many people go to you, you're probably just as likely to get the supplies you're going to get at Ken, so I would try to avoid it. I know there's a lot of people out there who are going to disagree with me, like I've said, but anyway, that's just my opinion. Number five, don't camp. It really does depend on where you camp and who you really camp with or where you're at. Although, making a base is fun and it is a decent strategy. Let's say there's a good place you like to go to to get supply. Let's say there's a military tent in it and a uh, hospital, you know? You decide to stay there and make a base there, even though you tend to bump into a few people in there. Although that is kind of a good idea, but if you're gonna loot and stay in one spot and just wait for loot to respawn, you're not gonna get it as quick if you were just to run around the map and just to go to each individual place to like some town to town to get as many supplies as quickly as possible. Number six, always be on the move. And why being on the move is so important is because finding supplies is really important. Obviously, you need it to survive and just to to do good and to succeed. But to get those supplies, you need to really get them quick. There are a lot of people who you know try to find or trying to find supplies themselves. So you know, always be on the move. Never stay in one spot for too long. Number seven, know your equipment. A lot of people tend to judge guns on how they are in other games. Like let's say. Uh, the Scar L, I think that's in a Call of Duty game, it's pretty good, you know, people use it. For each game and for each situation in each game, it really does depend. I would try to experiment with what guns I like best and what works for me and what guns I think, you know, are better are going to work out. Number A, don't get carried away in chat. This one is actually really important and I see it a lot. Let's say a friend joins you, right? He's like, oh, I didn't know you play Apocalypse Rising, how was your day? And you start answering him back and you say, no one's going to find me, I'm going to just stay in this house and, you know, start talking to him. Well, if you stay in one spot, you're you're more likely to get found if you stay in one spot than you are just to run around and go from town to town, like I've said before. So if you're going to talk to somebody, if you want to, you know, play with a friend, I would get in a Skype call or something with them so you could play and talk, if that makes sense. Number nine only take what's necessary. This is actually really common to see from people who are brand new to the game and decide to play and like don't really know how the game works and they're just like oh this looks good oh I'm gonna take this you know the more things I've got the better right well that's not the case because in Apocalypse Rising you really have limited inventory space as you would in real life you really have to be careful with what you take and be smart about what you take because if you just take a lot of things like firewood and 
just can kill a cow for meat and stuff like that. Oh, I'm gonna cook this later. Well, or if you grab too much food or water or stuff like that, you're not gonna have as much space for the really important things like ammunition or blood bags, painkillers, stuff like that. So be smart with what you take. And last but not least, number 10, team. Now when I say team, I don't mean go to global chat and just go, hey, anybody want to team? No, if you're gonna team, really important, listen up. You need to team with people you can trust and with friends, because I see this more than anything. A lot of people just ask people if they want to team that they really don't know. I hate to say this, but most of the time people just betray you. If you're gonna team, you really need to team with friends and with people you can trust, because it's a doozy trusting somebody over the internet. Anyway, that's it guys. Hopefully this helps some of you out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. It will be greatly appreciated. It really does make my day. And again, thank you guys for watching. It really does mean a lot. See you in the next video.